Ashley, I need to talk to you. What your mom did today was highly disrespectful and unacceptable. I don't think she has any business commenting on my parents' lives. Hi, babe. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to clarify things with you. I'm ashamed of what mom has done. I had no clue she would do this. I'm sorry, Andrew. I think the only way to teach her a lesson is to let her know that this was the last straw in the hat and she has blown up everything with me. We are done with having her in our lives and she needs to go. Babe, the thing is, she has always tried to sabotage and manipulate your life. I can't let her ruin our lives forever. You need to set up some clear boundaries before we go ahead. This is not some ultimatum. But I hope you know how grave the situation is. If you don't do something now, she will get crazier. She will never change. That's for sure. So if you're considering giving her any chances, I'd advise you to weigh the benefits versus the damages she could do. Yes, you're right. She is a highly toxic person and she needs to be left out. I'm so sorry she said those things to your mom and dad. And that too, while there were other people present around. I apologize on her behalf. I should have known she can never truly be happy for me and will definitely try to ruin our happy occasion. Well, babe, this is all she can do. Why are you apologizing for her? She doesn't care about her behavior. So what have you decided? What are you going to do about it? Well, she had no business walking into our engagement party and making fun of your mom and dad and belittling her just because they were once together in high school and knew each other previously. That was no time or occasion for those inside jokes. She should have known her limits and spoken cautiously to all present there because all those people are going to be my in-laws relatives and stuff. Ashley, my love, it's not just this. She has been a selfish and controlling mother to you since forever. If it was just this one incident, I would never be this mad. But she has done a lot of things to never be considered for forgiveness. Yes, she has been like the worst person to me. I wish I had an option to leave her earlier. Now I do, and now I won't be stupid enough to get intimidated or scared of her again. Like I would when I was a little girl. That's good. Just don't let people walk over you, honey. Look at yourself. Look at all that you have achieved and the potential to achieve much more. You've already received your Juris Doctor. I'm one proud fiancé. Oh, thanks, babe. The best thing was that we moved in together soon after we started dating. That was the final blow for mom. She hates you for existing in my life, lol. Living together? I guess that really helped us grow as a couple. Besides, you are blessed with an amazing set of parents. They adore me so much. Yes, she has hated me since day one because anytime she has said something to make herself look smart, I have called her out and said, nope, you're wrong. LOL, you never miss a chance. She hates to be proven wrong. You even have proofs and graphs to prove she is wrong. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Honey, just go ahead with the confrontation soon. I mean, you don't have to do this, but do it anyway. You need closure to pick up your awesome life and move it away from her forever. She doesn't deserve to be around you anymore. Yeah, I don't know what to say to her. She has given me an ultimatum already. She texted me saying that you need to choose one of us, Ashley your mother or the man you have been dating for just about a year now. Yeah, well, go ahead and tell your choice. It's high time she realizes that she has lost you forever because of how she has been with you and all those around you. Don't leave out anything. Tell her everything. Every little thing that she has done to hurt you or use you. Okay, Andrew, I'm gonna go and talk to her one last time. We need to talk for a bit, Mom. Hi, Ashley. I guess you've made the right choice after all. Thanks for not letting your mom down. I'm sorry, but I've chosen Andrew. You know what? I'm not one bit sorry, actually. 
I'm happy and relieved to have finally chosen myself, my life goals, and the love of my life. What are you saying, Ashley? This is not how you speak to your mother. You need to be very careful of your tone. Oh, please, just cut the crap. I don't fear you one bit anymore. Sadly, all the control you have done on me, the timid Ashley, is gone. I have decided what I want my life ahead to look like. I don't see you in it anymore. What? Why? What did I do? You are well aware of it. You tried to ruin my happiness. You thought you could get away with this this time? I'm happy that Andrew asked me to draw a line this time with you or else I would still keep ignoring the multiple red flags you have always shown me as a mother. What you did at the engagement party was outrageous. Well, what did I do? What red flags? All I did at the party was tell Andrew's mother that she was a lucky woman to have finally found herself a rich and handsome man and a luxurious life because in school, her reputation was pathetic and the boys were with her just for fun. She was this hot girl in school and the boys were crazy about her. That's why I complimented her on her successful marriage. Oh no, mom. That didn't sound like a compliment to anyone else there. You deliberately walked up to them so you could play your little trick and try to turn them against me. You hate Andrew, and you have disapproved since day one anyways. By red flags, mom? I mean you have been the worst mother to me. There, I said it. Ashley, what's the matter with you? I'm sure Andrew is making you do this. First, he came into your life and made you move in with him into his apartment. Now, he is putting things against me in your head. You need to realize that he is the wrong man for you. Mom, you know you can't speak like that about Andrew in front of me. I will not tolerate it one bit. He hasn't put things in my mind. He has just helped me open my eyes and see how miserable and painful my life has been up until now. Because you have been so controlling and cruel to me. Is that so? What else did he ask you to tell me so he could get you away from me? You have raised me to be this trophy child. You've told me all throughout my childhood that you were raising me to be your best child because you knew I would achieve more. You've always been harsher on my grades, sports, academic clubs, looks, and personal life whereas Henry always had it easy. He gets to spend his income however the hell he wants. He gets to go wherever he wants and hang out with whoever he wants. I did what I did because I knew your potential. Henry will never be as successful and rich as you will be one day. I just put my efforts into the right child, the best one I had. How pathetic could you get, mom? Oh no, you knew I would be the child who would be easily manipulated and do as you command. You used my weaknesses very well against me. You scared me to abide by your whims and fancies. No wonder I grew up hating Henry. He always had it easy. He had all the freedom he could ask for, while I would always be isolated, always grounded. Wow, so now you're going to take a revenge for that? I made you work hard and look where you are now. Look at how capable I made you to earn and live a decent life. I did what I did because I had to teach you to value your time and use your skills wisely. You have always been a brilliant girl. I was less strict with Henry because I knew he would not be that successful anyways. Yes, I have always been brilliant and I can achieve way more than you give me credit for. I have also been your free ticket to luxury, to spend on whatever you have wanted. I was working multiple jobs, mom, so that I could save up for college. But you made me help with the family bills. Unlike Henry, my dear little brother whom I despised so much all these years because of you and how partial you have been with the two of us. What? I never made any luxury purchases with your money. You just did your duty towards your family. What is wrong with it? Mom, you were the one to blow money on designer stuff while we slept in hotels and cars at one night. 
I hated being poor. All I wanted was a house growing up, a small, nice house for us. Well, I'm sorry I was not the mother you wished me to be. I always wanted the best for you. I guess I failed all of you. Dad left me. Now you're going away too? I don't think Henry will stay either. Once he comes of age to live by himself. Mom, you have brought this upon yourself. You have treated us like we were your trophies to get your wishes completed. I think the only reason you put in so much effort after me was that you wanted me to look after you financially. And you knew you could manipulate me to stay even if the others left. Too bad I understood about your ways at the right time. Well, whatever you like to think. All I'm saying is, Andrew is a mistake. Mom, he always proves you wrong, and that too with facts and stuff. You hate him because you can't control him, and because he is way smarter than you. He is an amazing man, and so is his family. They love me so much. I love being around them too. Well, I tried my best to show you the right path. The rest is your choice. No, you didn't. All you did was try to break us up multiple times. This time, he has directly called you out for making fun of his parents, and he is not gonna have it. We are done with you, mom. I choose Andrew. I will always choose him. Wow, you have been so trashy. You should thank me for whatever you have achieved in life. You are being so ungrateful right now because you have found someone else to depend on. Excuse me? I have never depended on anyone. I have worked my ass off so that I could move out at the right time. By God's grace, Andrew came in my life and made it so much better. Together, we will figure out our life and for now, all we have decided is that we don't want to have to do anything with you in it. No one's ever really succeeded in life if they have not taken care of their parents. I don't care how you measure success, mom. I have found mine in moving away from you. That's my personal success. All you care about is the money I make. You raised me right, but just because you could benefit from me. You told me what my career goal was, what kind of person I should marry, how you would move in with me after I buy my house to raise my kids and take care of you. Well, is it wrong to expect something in return from your own children? I don't have anyone else apart from you, Ashley. Henry spends every penny on himself or his savings. He never even asks if I need anything or want to go somewhere. Too bad for you, mom. He saw how you treated me, and I guess he was the smarter one to always maintain a distance from you. He was not easy to fool. He saw the real you way before I could. He knew if he showed 1% sympathy towards you, you were going to blow it up and never let him live in peace. I wish I had been a good mother. I wish I could open my eyes and see what good children I had instead of being blinded by how I wanted you guys to be. I've lost my kids. I'm sorry, mom, but you have lost me for sure. Andrew says you will be lucky if you ever get to see your grandchildren. Goodbye, mom. Happy two years anniversary, Andrew. I love you so much. I love you too, Ashley. Happy two years. What a terrific journey it has been so far. Your mom never gave up her ways, man. Yeah, she deserved what she got. She would never change anyways. It was a good decision after all. I think Henry will follow my footsteps too. Absolutely, babe. She needed to learn this lesson. Has she stopped texting you and threatening you? Yeah, she has understood they don't work anymore. She does try to contact me on and off based on some excuse in order to get back in my life. Oh man, is that so? Just ask her to steer clear of our lives. Don't let her know any of our next moves ever. She needs to be blocked out soon. Well, I'm trying hard. It's difficult for me to come to terms with all the childhood trauma. I Don't keep going it, back babe. for answers. You will never know how she will find her way back into our lives. I think you got enough closure already. Does she still ask you for money? I try not to entertain her much. Yeah, sometimes she does ask. I feel bad for her at times. I feel guilty. So I sent her the money. 
Oh, okay. I don't want to force you into doing anything, but knowing how she is, I would maintain a safe distance from her. Yes, babe. We have anyway come a long way from her, for her existence to make any difference to our lives anymore. I have the situation under control. Don't worry, babe. Okay, babe. Ashley dropped from law school and works remotely at an amazing job. Andrew graduated and topped his class and was hired immediately. Their incomes are way above what she expected, and they feel very blessed. Ashley dropped out because she couldn't afford it. They mutually discussed and concluded that once Andrew's education was finished, she would pursue hers. During this break that she took, Ashley found a job that she really liked a lot. She loves it, actually. But she wants to get her master's in social work to go higher in her field. She is finally happy. She has realized that law school wasn't her dream after all. And she is even more thrilled to have found out her goals and dreams so quickly. Audrey has been blocked on all sources of contact and Ashley sadly had to block her brother Henry as well because Audrey would use his profile to harass her. Henry knows the situation and even helps Ashley. She has asked him to save his money and move out too, but he feels he doesn't need to because she would never think of losing another child by nagging for money, and his bills are being paid anyway, so he can spend however he likes it. Andrew was the main villain in Audrey's life, but he was definitely the Prince Charming in Ashley's life.